Hey folks, I'm Steve. Welcome to the channel. We're here at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park at Chimney Tops Picnic Area and we were kind of breaking down and the sun was going down. I thought I'd take the opportunity today to go over some of these bare bones lights that we use for hiking, camping, obviously picnicking. And uh, I'm going to go over some of the key features and uh, stay tuned because these are really cool and I'll show you how I use them. As you can see, it lights up the entire underside of the vehicle. Uh, again, this is why I use this light for such cases. Because if I need to work underneath the vehicle, it just lights up the entire ground. I will say that if you like this style of light and you want something that's a little bit more warm and ambient and uh, more of a mood light, I would look at the Railroad Lantern, which has the same Edison style uh, bulb inside of it. But this is very white, white LED. Almost like a rock light underneath the Jeep. What do you think, Guilford? Okay, so here we go. It's kind of raining on us, so I'll try to make this quick for you and for me. Um, from left to right, we have the Edison light. The middle light is the beacon light with the carabiner on top. And over here is going to be your forest lantern light. And if the video is picking up the different ambient lighting from left to right, this is going to be your Edison light, which is going to have the most vintage style, warm, ambient light. They make this in a one pack. I only got one of these. And they also make a three pack. This is the beacon light. And the forest lantern is very, very bright white. I don't know if I would necessarily use this light to play cards or to set it on a table because it's just very white, it's very bright. How I use this forest lantern light is for Jeep repairs when we're on the road, if I need to do something. This is probably my favorite light. It, it, it hangs, uh, it basically has two settings. It's gonna be uh, 35 lumens and then 100 lumens. So that's 35, that's 100, and that's off. This takes two double A batteries or you can plug a micro USB uh, into the wall and it will stay on all the time. Or you could use uh, rechargeable batteries if that's your choice. Uh, this one here, uh, again, it's a USB charge and this is not battery operated. So it's lithium ion inside that is rechargeable. This one here, lithium ion inside, uh, rechargeable. And this goes to 220 lumens at its highest setting. And that's really bright, probably too bright for the video. Uh, when you turn this off, it's a push button. Push button on, goes back to its, even if you leave it on the highest setting, it goes back to the lowest setting. And then you can turn it up from there, just like your grandmother's dimmer. This one here, uh, it's got a, a button on top that you turn. This is also uh, 220 lumens, 220, 220 and 100. Uh, to charge this and to charge this uh, is gonna take about 12 to 14 hours to get a full charge. That's what I've noticed while using these lights. This one, obviously there, there's no charge time because it takes AA batteries. So uh, again, this is my work light that I bring with me in the Jeep. This is what I hang above and this is what I use for mood lighting. Uh, in the Jeep here, we do travel, and when we do, uh, the real estate and the space is very limited inside the Jeep. So I throw these inside the Step 22 bag. I'm good to go. This even comes with a storage bag if you'd like to purchase one. I did not get that. I just throw it inside of the Step 22 bag, and I roll out. Okay, so it's starting to rain on me here. I, I think that kind of covers what I wanted to cover on this. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description for these camp hiking lights. Uh, if you like it, like, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you like about these things if you have them. And until then, get out and smell the sunshine.